Sorry. No, it's fine. I'm sorry too. Aren't the, you the chick from the coffee shop that spilled your coffee on me? Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, but you do owe me a coffee now. <laughs> do I? Yeah, I mean, kind of ruined my clothes and they're pretty expensive, so coffee will suffice. spare right now. But why are you sleeping in the hallway? Well, I mean, I could be sleeping in the bathroom. That's disgusting. Okay, I'll have to agree with you on that one. What are you doing out here? I'm going over to that podium to practice being the first Prime Minister of Canada. Well, that's pretty admirable of you. Yeah, of course it is. So, uh, about that coffee. You got it by any chance with you? No, I don't at the moment. You'll have to wait. Well, I mean, waiting isn't one of my, uh, good qualities. Guess you're gonna have to learn. Yeah, she's going through menopause. Yeah, but like, doesn't mean she's just like a rude person, you know? Well, so about that coffee. Yeah, oh, actually, I was thinking, you wanna make a date? Sure. Let's do that. Yeah, uh, tomorrow after school? Yeah, okay. Sweet, sounds good. Okay. Uh, I should probably get to my class now. Okay. Yeah, see you later. Okay, bye. I thought he had a spare. You know, To Kill the Mockingbird is actually like a really good movie for like school, but I always, like, there's this one weird fan fiction I wrote where it's Boo, Radley, and Scout got together, <laughs> and it was just so creepy. Why would you do that? I wake me up! Wake me up inside! I can't wake up! 